I got fired from a lot of jobs. <clears throat> I quit a lot of jobs and I got fired from some jobs. So what? It only makes me mad because the boss liked me and the people in that company liked me. They said I was a good worker. That's why they gave me a raise. And what did he used to do? Forklift driver. No, the thing that pisses me off the most is, is that the bosses liked me. They all said they liked me and they gave me a raise. I started that job out, I made ten dollars an hour. When I left that job, I was making what, eighteen dollars an hour? I was making like eighteen. And you got fired over a girl. Yeah, eighteen dollars an hour I was making. I lost what did that guy do to you again? With the girlfriend? He slept with my girl. You didn't kick his ass like sea bass? I was gonna kick his ass, but then the cops came, so I said, fuck it. He fucked your girl, and he was your best friend. He wasn't my best friend, he was a friend. And the girl worked there too, or no? Yeah, she worked there too. That's what screwed everything up. She worked there, he worked there, he sleeps with her. I start a fight with him at the job, and then the boss hears it and he fires me. I was so pissed about that when I got fired. First thing I thought is I'm never going to find a job again making a thousand dollars a week. A thousand a week? A lot of you would have been making close to twelve hundred dollars a week if you still worked there today. Now yeah. you're now you don't do I'd shit. I'd be making more than that if I was still working there. Fifteen. I'd, making, I'd probably be making fifteen hundred a week. Maybe who knows? I made eighteen dollars an hour, and this was in nineteen ninety one. So do the math. If I was still there from ninety one to two thousand thirteen, that's another twelve years. I'd probably be taking home at least fifteen sixteen hundred. It doesn't matter now because all that money is off the table because I got fired. And you got fired over a, a whore that fucked your boy. He's a friend. And he fucked. She fucked him. He wasn't him. just a friend. He was a guy. She who, worked there and he just fucked her? He wasn't just a friend. He played guitar in a group I was trying to start. I played guitar and he played guitar. You don't even know how to play a piano, an I instrument. Know how to play guitar, don't you? you don't know how to play a flute. I can play guitar, I can play drums, I can play bass, play a lot of things. I used to be in musical groups years ago when I was in my teens and 20s. I want to get back into the music business again, I miss it. I'm better than 50 Cent, Rihanna, and any of those girls, that trash you hear on the radio. My music is a thousand times better. Yeah, but your, your group got broken up because your boy fucked your girl. I can get into another group. I was jamming with Doobie. I was jamming with uh, with Kurt in his basement at his house. And this Jason kid we were playing with. I did pretty good then. A uh, Jason kid? Not the one from Killfish? Fishkill, I mean? A friend of Kurt's. Fishkill? A friend of Kurt's was there. I can get into another group again if I want to. So I not... Just, I just don't have the money to buy the equipment. I've been looking around at guitars and, and, and microphones and equipment, but I don't really have the money to spend. For it. A guitar is going to cost a thousand dollars if I get the one I want. I don't have the money for a thousand dollar guitar, a five hundred dollar amplifier, two hundred dollar microphone, thousand dollar PA system. It's a lot of equipment that I would need that I don't have. So all I can do is just keep writing music. And then hopefully I'll get the money someday and I'll get back into it. I'm going to make a lot of money. It's the only way to do it is music. Are you going to ever kick uh, Jason from Fishkill's ass? Because he said he was going to come here with his boy one day, get a ride, really just to beat the does. shit out of you. I don't care what he does because I'm going to get back in the music business. And 10 years from now, that loser Jason, where's he going to be? He's got nothing right now. What's he going to have... What's he gonna have in ten years? Now, if he's got nothing today, what's he gonna have ten years from now? See, he's gonna look at his wife and say, "I got nothing today except an Xbox." Is an Xbox all he's gonna have in ten years? I want more than an Xbox. I want more than a new car and a new house. I want to have like five hundred thousand dollars in the bank, or a million dollars in the bank. I want to have a lot of money. And to get a lot of money, you gotta have a plan. Rihanna had a plan, and she made money, even though she stinks. you got to have a plan to make money. Real money 
you have to have a plan. It's either going to be a lottery, or you have to go back to school, or whatever. You have to come up with a plan to make a lot of money. Yeah, but you're not going to win the lottery anytime soon. Nobody wins them. I just want to let you know that. Well, if that's true, then how come that woman in Florida won six hundred? Because she sucked many people's penises. She bought one lottery ticket, she won six hundred me. I could buy one ticket, and I could win a lot of money, too. Who the fuck knows? I buy scratch tickets, and I win money. I don't want to buy... Three. How much money do you win? Five bucks or a dollar? Well, At well, most, a dollar. You know, I, I bought three straight tickets, and I won two dollars a piece. That's six dollars. <laughs> uh, two dollars. Yeah, but eventually, what if I buy a ticket, and I win twenty thousand? I buy tickets where you can win up to twenty thousand dollars. So you lost this job, and now you're basically almost a loser, cause I of it. More than you have. I don't consider myself a loser. Yeah, you consider yourself. So you lost your job, and now you're a loser because of that guy. Do you still know his name, so you can go kick his ass today? Oh, I know. Is that I said to his face, "You can have her. I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna have fortune and fame in the music business, and that's something he wanted." He wanted to be the greatest guitar player of all time and have all kinds of money. He wanted to have money and success and be all over the TV screens and MTV and all that stuff. He MTV sucks. But but that's what he wants. He wants the fortune and the fame that comes And the bitches the and the kings. My music is better than 50 cents. It's 20 <laughs> cents, but he's got more money than I do. My music's better than Eminem, but he's got more money. Wait, wait, wait. If your music is better than 50 cents, how does he still have more money than you? The only reason he has money... He sucks The only reason he has money is, is because he Eats sent out penises. a demo tape to a, a record company, and they gave him a chance. You know, I sent out tapes to music company, record companies in the past. Alright, what's one of your music's called, and I want to see it. I want to hear it. I can't play anything without an instrument. Yeah, but don't you have to be a lyricist? I'm going to work on my music and I'm going to get... What's the Chicano music? one? I'm a Chicano. You are a Chicano. What's the song, though? I want to hear it. I was just thinking about something. That George Lopez has a song. I know that George Lopez guy who has that show has a video called Don't Hate Me Because I'm a Chicano. I keep thinking about it because that's kind of stupid. Here's a video called Don't Hate Me Because I'm a Chicano. You know what George yep. Lopez is? He's a Mexican. That's he, a lie. He is a Mexican. That's a lie, you know it. You know something that's weird is all the, all, the, all the Chicanos that have made it in the business are all Mexican. You got George Lopez, he's a Mexican. That's you a got, lie. You got, uh, what's her name? Eva Mendez, she's Mexican. And there's some other Chicanos that have made it. Celebrities that are Mexican too. What is it with Mexicans making it in, the, in, in this Hollywood celebrity? That really baffles you not losing a thousand dollar job, a weekly job? I don't really care about it. At the time, I was mad because a thousand dollars a lot of money. I mean, I was living pretty good. A thousand dollars a week, I could buy cocaine, I could buy <laughs> weed, I could buy all kinds of stuff. I had plenty of money. <laughs> That's I, used to walk, I used to walk around with about two grand in my pocket all the time. I had easily two, three thousand dollars in my pocket wherever I went. Because I started saving the money at first. When I first started working there, I put away about four or five grand in the first year I was there. I just put away five grand in the bank. And I wasn't really smoking much weed or drinking. And the year after that, I started smoking a lot of weed and, and partying. And then that money I had saved up started going, started going on me. So that proves if you start drinking and partying all the time, the money will be gone just like that. But if I had saved the money, I would have had maybe twenty five, thirty thousand dollars saved in my bank. Probably. I, have, I talked to a girl who worked there. This is no lie. I talked to a girl who worked there where I worked, and she saved over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And she was there for 20 years, and she saved about 150 grand because she didn't smoke, she didn't drink, she didn't do nothing. She said, she said I saved my money. But she invested her money, too. She invested her money in stocks. She invested her money in stocks, bonds. She had a retirement account. She had all kinds of things she was doing. So I said, how much money did you save again? She said, I'm worth about 150000 I saved in the bank. But I also have money in stocks and bonds. So when I turn 60 or 70 years old, I'm hoping to be a multi-millionaire. 
But she saved all her money from 1990 to now, 23 years. She could be worth a million dollars, who the fuck knows? But the point is, is she worked and saved. Worked, saved, and invested her money. And that's why she's probably sitting on a couple of million right now, who the fuck knows? That's what I should have done. I should have listened to her back in 1990 when I talked to this woman. Her name was Alana Murray, and she worked in the receiving area where I used to work. You wanted to receive her titties? No, she had a lot of money. She was telling me about, she drove a new car, she had a house she bought, she had all kinds of things. And she was only like 25. 25 year old woman with 150 G's in the bank, owns her own house, owns a new car, 